Hi everybody, today I'm going to do a quick uh, demo for, of Google Drive. So let me start up Google here and we'll get moving. Uh, happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day and let's learn about Google Drive. So I'm going to go to my drive here and it's going to show some folders that I've made and some other files that I have. But what I want to show you more is what Google Drive can do. Um, you can put files from your computer and store them here kind of like a Dropbox if you're familiar with Dropbox or it's like a flash drive except you don't need any device you just have your Google Drive account and it'll store it for you. Um, you can click create here and you can make a document like a Microsoft Word document. A presentation is like a PowerPoint. A spreadsheet is like an Excel spreadsheet. And then you got drawing which is just drawing something and then you have something really kind of special called a form but um, let me let me take you through these really quick so a document if I click document it just brings up a normal tablet and I can make a document uh, so I can make my document I can do whatever I need to do make my text bigger change my font um, I can bold and italic. I can do all the things that I can normally do with these things. I can give it a name, save it. But there's a couple things that I can do that other people that you can't do with other things. Um, so what I can do is I can go up here to this button that says share. I can click share and I can tell this the name or email address of someone that I want to share it with. And when I'm sharing this document, I can actually have them working on the document with me. So I can enter text, they can enter text all at the same time. And it happens online in real time um, for you to be able to collaborate. Um, to make things even better, when, when you are sharing this with somebody, so let me put in someone's name. Okay, and so I'll share it, and that person that's going to share comes up, and now I can click comment, and I can make comments on my document, but also when that person is online, I'll get a, a chat window here, so I can actually chat with them as we're both sharing this document. So I'm going to click the back, go back to my Google Drive here, it's going to take me back, you're going to see my test doc here, and it says it's shared, if I click on it again, I come right back to the same document, no surprises, nothing going weird. And so that's documents. So I'm now going to create um, a drawing. And a drawing is just drawing whatever you need to draw. So let's say I want to put some shapes on here. So let's say I'm going to do some brainstorming. So I'm going to start out here with an oval. So I'll draw a little oval. If I double click in the oval, it'll give me a text box and I can put some text in here. Um, once again, if I I, I can move my box around wherever I want to put it. Um, I can double click on my text here and I can change that to a different font. I can change its size just like I did in the other one. Um, I can make my box bigger or smaller by grabbing it. No, if it will let me. There we go. Bigger smaller okay I can also uh, put other shapes let's say I want to put an arrow coming out of this box so I'll draw a little arrow coming out of this box I'll move it up move it down so you can do a lot of things with this if you want to do brainstorming you can come in and grab more shapes put a box here let's say we'll put another one here and some of you might be saying oh that's kind of hard to do that's kind of a waste of time why don't you just use a software that does it for you well the reason why I don't want to do that is because I can do this with someone uh, let's say I have a colleague that I need to be doing um, let's say we're doing a convention or we're giving a talk somewhere and we want to do this together but we need to plan it so we can I can be at my house he can be at his house or she can be at her house and I can make this with them as we're going and I, if I forget something they can put it in at the same time um, so there are a lot of 
Uh, there are a lot of possibilities with this drawing document. So this is also going to be test. Click OK. Go back to my... Notice I didn't save anything, but here it is. I didn't save anything, but here it is. So Google doesn't require you to save because it saves for you. So Google Drive is always saving. Whenever you make any changes, it's saving it. All right, let me make one more thing just to show you something new and different. This is called Form. Um, and Form is a way to make a poll, make a test, make a quiz. Um, a lot of different things that you can do with Google Form that you might not have known. So I'm just going to make a quick poll here. How old are you? Okay, I can have them answer in text. I can give multiple choice. So let me do multiple choice. Let's say 10 to 20. Click here, add another one. Let's say 21 to 30. Here, let's say 31 to say 50. Let's say 51 to 75. And let's say older than 75. I'm going to make this a required question. If I want to add another question, I simply click here on the little pencil for edit, and I can do another question. Um, are you employed? So we're going to make this multiple choice again, and I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say no. And notice I just hit my tab key to go on to the next one. I didn't have to um, click if I didn't want to. So it works with tab. I'm going to make this a required question. And so there we go. Now we have two questions. How old are you? Are you employed? Now, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to share this. So now what it's going to do is it's going to ask me who I want to share this with. So I can add name, circles email addresses, however I want to do this. Um, um, now it says your circle is public extended circles. This is from my Google Plus account, um, which is uh, Google's version of Facebook. It's a social media platform, but it allows you to use the things that you have there for your um, sharing, if you'd like to. You don't have to. You can just type in an email address. Okay, I'm going to share that. All right, now, there's some things that you can do with this. Um, you can use this how you, however you want to use it. So I'm going to put, i got to give it a name, obviously, so I'm going to call it test again, test form. I'm going to save that. Okay, now it says see responses here. So if I click see responses, I can see either a summary or a spreadsheet. So I'm going to check summary here. And what it's going to do is it's going to uh, tell me how many responses I have. And then it's going to make a graph. It's going to tell me how many people answered which way on both of these questions. Now the other thing that I can use here is I can use a spreadsheet. And when I get a spreadsheet, it's going to give me a timestamp. It's going to tell me when it was responded to. It'll tell me what the answer they gave to this question and what they gave to this question. So you have several views that you can look at uh, when people answer your form. So this is a quick and easy way to do a poll, quick and easy way to do a quiz. Um, very powerful tool that you have here um, through Google, Google Drive. Um, you can keep your stuff however you want to keep it. You can keep it in folders. Um, you can you can share it. So here's a, here's files that others have shared with me. Um, star, you can star your things. So things that you think are important, you star. Things that you recently viewed. Now these are any things that you recently viewed that are on Google Drive, and they don't necessarily have to be on your Google Drive. So as you search the web, sometimes you'll find a file that someone else has. Uh, so I found this um, 79 interesting ways to use Google Forms in the classroom was shared by this person, and apparently they shared it with the world. So I can go look at it, and then it shows up in my recents. Um, 
It'll show you your recent activity. So I made that test form. I made that test drawing. I made that test doc. It shows you what you've done. You can track what you've done. It's very powerful, very intuitive, um, not a very difficult thing to do. So I would encourage everybody to um, subscribe to Google. Give Google Drive a chance.